Ooh, Caden's already here. Wow. That was quick. We were here before I even pressed the stream button. How did that happen? I'm not complaining. How are you? We got two concurrent viewers. It is Monday nights, as I am currently publishing a video as soon as YouTube decides to spend um, time actually encoding it properly. Oh, I just messed up my hair. Oh, well. Uh, Bapo. Bapo? Bapo? Says ye. Alex says, I sent you a crazy picture. Well, let's see what it was. <coughs> Look what I did. Oh, you swapped the handles on them. I've done that before. So it looks like the 07 handle fits on the 14 just fine. But the 14 doesn't quite fit on the 07 handle. It might fit if you cut, if you actually sand it off part of the top frame. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But yeah, you can see it just barely won't clip on because of the buttons with the 14 handle on the 07. So you could, in theory, make that fit, but I wouldn't recommend it, obviously. But the 07 handle seems to fit just fine on the 14. So, oh, come on, focus. So it looks like if you have a 14 and you prefer the 07 handle design, you could do that. That also means that you would have two crevice tools on board, and the original hoses are there, too. Although you wouldn't really be able to use the wand because the hose wouldn't clip on to the end of the wand when you pull it out. But I guess if you didn't care about that, then whatever, you can do that. <clears throat> or if maybe if they made an adapter that went from the 07 to the 14. Or no, they use the same tools, it's just the hose. But the hoses on the base look the same, so are you able to switch the hoses as well? So that way the wand fits into the hose correctly? Today my dad borrowed me, hit, borrowed me, what? Let me borrow his Canon EOS Rebel T3 with three lenses. That is cool. As far as I know, my dad does not own a camera, at least not a modern one. Unless you count his phone. By that logic, I have one as well. Yes, both hoses fit each other. Well, do that and send that picture. <laughs> Let's see. Sure, it's a dinosaur, but hey, it works. JW Gaming says, "Aye." Who's Jesse? I do not know this person. What? Say hi to Bapo. Oh, Jesse, that's you. What vacuum video are you going to do soon? Well, it's uploading right now, so you will figure out in just a few minutes, or whenever YouTube decides to make it work. So I'm not going to spoil it now, because obviously it's so close at this point that why would I bother? Typical meh 18 to 55 millimeter, a 50 millimeter f1.8, but it won't focus properly, and a 55 millimeter, 250 millimeter one. Caden says, yay. Yes, we have six current, six current, current viewers. Hi to Bapo. That is very true. Vacuuming the stairs can definitely be frustrating. Uh, hide or show. Bobo says LMAO. Hi, Soraya. Vac Gaming says hello. Hello as well. Wonderful. Especially when you don't have a machine with a fi when you don't have a machine with a fixed hose and no turbo brush. You mean when you do have a machine with a fixed hose and no turbo brush? 
Can you play a game? I, I can, but will I? That's the question. Why is my hair messed up? I've got that weird little section of my hair not working right. Yeah, I can play a game, but will I? I have I have an Xbox. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five Xbox 360s uh, sitting here. Why? I don't know. Because this is my Halo edition. No, you can't see that. All right. So here, just out of frame, is my Halo edition. This is my 4 gig Xbox Slim. This is the Blade dashboard one. This is one that uh, I just got recently. And this one is my old one. Uh, the one that I used for quite a long time. But yeah. Oh, I turned it on. Yeah, this one gets really loud. Like, it starts off quiet, and then it just progressively gets louder and louder. So I'm just going to leave it on until it bug until it, it bugs you guys. You can just hear it progressively get louder and louder. I send you a message via messenger. I see that. hear that thing it's 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 a jet engine at this point dude is that xbox 360 set to 4 by 3 well it doesn't have hdmi so i have it plugged in with the composite cables i'm not this isn't my actual system so obviously obviously my actual system is hdmi because it's a, it's a slim well at least you didn't stretch well yeah of course because that would look disgusting but yeah two of my brothers both have an xbox one and a ps4 it gets loud when you play your game. It's not playing anything right now. It's just sitting in the dashboard. Can you hear that? I can't seem to hear it when I'm listening to the stream itself. <clears throat> you could use 16 by 9 on the 360 composite. Yo, yeah, but this is plugged into my HD scaler, which I normally use for all the old systems that are 4x3 anyway. So I'm not going to change it because it's going to mess with the scaler. And plus, there's no point because, again, I'm not playing this, so I don't care what the screen looks like. I was just testing it out. So I'm just going to leave it on and see if it red rings. Because it it's a Xenon. It was made in, I believe, 2007 or so. So it's one of, it's one of the last Xenons that you could buy. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it on and see if it ever red rings. Because the disc... The disk drive is kind of crappy. And beyond that, it's, uh, well, it's pretty annoying. Here's a Galaxy S4. I just got a case for it. Pretty. I sent the photos of those hoses. Look at them. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, Jesse, or, uh, Bapo just mentioned, he's like, do you just want my Switch? And I'm like, I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I think about it, if I get a Switch, I could do a review on the Switch. I've, I don't even own a Wii U. The newest, the newest Nintendo system I have is the Wii, and I got it, I got it over a decade. I got it a decade and a half ago, because I got it launch day of 2006, or at least launch year. I think I got it holiday 2006. I don't remember if it was a Christmas present or not, or if I got it earlier. But you know, the difference is only a couple months. I hate how people think that stretching four by three into sixteen by nine automatically makes it HD. Yeah. I don't know if my dad still does that, but he used to do that all the time. Where anytime he was wa when we had cable, 
or a satellite and he was watching a 4x3 like a, a standard definition channel he would stretch it to fill the screen and I remember his his logic was well I paid for the whole screen so I want to use it and I'm like well you're not really using it and it just looks horrible now I don't know if he still does that but I'm glad I have my own TV so I can just use it the way I want to and not have to worry about that so yeah, JW is not a fan of Nintendo. Why is that? The Wii U, ew. What's wrong with the Wii U? The Wii U is awesome. I mean, yeah, it wasn't very successful, but the games on it are wonderful. I, I think it has a lot of charm. Plus, it was the first HD Nintendo console, so you can't really really blame it for that. JW is an Xbox junkie. Okay, okay. I kind of figured. But I like all of them. You can see, I've got, look, I've got, I obviously have an Xbox 360. I have a PS3, and I have a Wii. So the newest generation that I have, I have every console. Also, I have an Xbox, I have a PS2, and I don't have a GameCube, but the Wii plays GameCube, and I have a Dreamcast. So I have every console from the 7th gen and the 6th gen, and then I also, in addition to that, have a Super Nintendo. And that's it. My, I don't have a normal Nintendo right now because I traded it in because I needed some money, but I will get another one soon. Because I, mi I miss having my Nintendo. My original Nintendo, my NES. Dreamcast. Yes, I have the Dreamcast. Dreamcast is so underrated. It's fantastic. Don't tell me you don't know what the Dreamcast is. Hey, guess what I may be ordering tomorrow for the DC-14? I'm going to guess a new clutch. Because I believe the clutch was bad on your DC-14, I think, right? Sure, the Wii U had some good games like Mario 3D Land, Sonic Lost World, Mario Kart 8, Zelda, Captain Toad, etc. Exactly, my point. So the Wii U is awesome. Plus, right now, the Wii, Wii U stuff is dirt cheap. So I do want to get a Wii U at some point because Wii U, Wii U along with 360 and PS3 and Wii has all hit rock bottom at this point. So, the prices are only going to go up from here. And I would say the only way they could possibly get cheaper is if, like, something happens to the economy. Um, and even then, I'm not sure if they'll go down any further. Because I know in 2008, a bunch of, like, retro stuff went down, like, crazy in value. And people let them go for next to nothing because, well, they had to pay the bills. So, unless something like that happens again, which I don't think will... I think will eventually happen, but won't happen for... A few more years um, then I think that all these consoles are only going to go up in value I mean Xbox PS2 is already starting to go up in value Dreamcast has already gone up in value so it's just yeah most of the Wii U games are bad ports for other games and terrible games like Mario Tennis Ultra Smash yes but keep in mind we're talking about exclusives because multiplats are useless because you can buy the multiplats on a thousand different platforms you know, like, for Black Ops 2. Like, yeah. I, w I mean, Black Ops 2 is... Yeah, sure, you can get it on the Wii U, but you can also get it on the 360, on the PS3, on the PC. Can you get Black Ops 2 on the PC? I hope so. I haven't bought one yet. Let's see. I love the Dreamcast. I really want one. I like Dyson vacuums. Yeah, a lot of people like Dyson vacuums. I like Dyson vacuums. Dyson vacuums are pretty cool. That thing is loud. But it's not getting any louder, though. The fans are pretty much the loudest it's going to get. So, I don't think it's going to red ring, though. I think that the fans are spinning fast and it's keeping it cool. It's not hot or anything. It's blowing out nothing but, like, lukewarm air. It's not even blowing out hot air at this point. Oh, this tray just got stuck. Yeah, I try to put a disc in it, it doesn't want to read. Okay, maybe not. Oh well. Also, aside from being a DVD player, I don't get why the PS2 is so loved. Can someone explain me? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The PS2 is loved because, number one... Well, you kind of answered your own question. It is a DVD player, and that's the reason why a lot of non-gamers bought it. 
uh, because the Let's see. Um, yeah, I prefer the GameCube and Dreamcast over it. Yeah, like, obviously nowadays you don't want to use your PS2 as a DVD player because you're just causing unnecessary wear to the laser. But uh, that's the reason why a lot of people bought it back in the day. I mean, it sold 120 million units. It's the best-selling game console of all time. Um, who is Pierce Hughes? Honestly, I don't even remember at this point. Um... Yeah, I remember playing Year of the Dragon on the PS2 with some of my old friends. You have a computer, right? Did you just ask me if I have a computer? I mean, what is this? Is this a computer? <laughs> I don't mean to be a dick, I just think that that's funny. But yes, I, I do own a computer. In fact, I own one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight of them. I own eight computers. Six are working. I own six working computers. Including this one. So I own six computers. So I do have a computer. <laughs> um, Sonic games ran like trash on the PS2 as far as like, what is up with you and Sonic? You're just like, every every single time I mention video games, you're like, Sonic, play Sonic, Sonic, play Sonic. Oh, yeah, no problem with that. You seem to just really like Sonic, which is fine. Adds up to all the times I swallow my pride. I'm a Sonic fan, lol. Yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> Sonic is, is, is very good. I like Sonic. Can't you tell? Yeah, obviously. That's what I was saying. I'm saying you like talking about Sonic. What are your thoughts on uh, Sonic the Hedgehog for the Xbox 360? The one that released in 2006. Caden also loves Sonic. Yeah, I like Sonic too. I'm really, really excited to see the new movie. Uh, which is coming out in like just over two weeks from now. So I'm super duper happy to watch it. I need to find a friend to go watch Sonic with. I guess I could go watch it alone, but that'd be kind of sad. I need friends. I don't have any right now. Unless like online ones. Do 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 Sonic 06 is trash. It's so terrible it's fun. See I'm kinda like that too. I like crappy games, like outwardly crappy games, because I think they're just so much fun. I don't know what it is about them, I just <laughs> I just really enjoy them. I just I just think they're especially playing them with friends, it's just such a uh so much fun. Unlike the other other trash games, Sonic Boom, yeah. So Sonic Boom is just, just like terrible, terrible, and then Sonic 06 is like so bad it's good. Yeah, Sonic Boom is supposedly really bad. Sonic 06 is not trash. It is very, very trash. I need to set up my Elgato so I can just so I can play games on the stream. And I'll, I'll get a copy of Sonic 06. AVGN did a video on it. Oh, I guess it is trash. <laughs> Sonic 06 is not trash. Oh, well, I guess it is. Yep, yep, pretty do. Yeah. Sonic, Sonic 06 is a broken dumpster fire. The voice acting is so bad, it's funny. The levels are so broken, it's fun to mess with them, although some stages are kind of fun without breaking them. Yeah, interesting point. That Xbox is still on. Still hasn't red ringed yet. It's on the latest, but dashboard too, as far as I can tell. Uh, yeah. So. Let's 
That's interesting. Went to Best Buy in Champagne this weekend. Barely missed the shooting there. Oh, I forgot it. There was a shooting there? What? But they're selling Elgato's for like 60 bucks. Well, I already have an Elgato. Teletech, why? Cameron, you're a fake Cameron. Cameron 42, not Cameron 42. You are a fake. You are a imposter. Unless you conveniently changed your channel name and removed your picture for no reason. However, Sonic Boom Rise Lyric is just complete boredom. Yeah, I've heard bad things about that. The hub worlds are terrible and boring, though. The loading times is abysmal, and the Sonic... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. The Sonic being with the human... Print. Yeah, that's kind of bizarre. I forgot about that. That's kind of weird. Ugh. Kind of odd. Just like a human princess getting with an anthropomorphic... Hedgehog. If you're getting a Sonic Unleashed. Cameron, I'm not sure if you, did yours get hacked? Let me let me double check. Cause last cause I last I checked. Yeah. There are two Cameron 42 channels, and neither of them are yours, so you are an imposter. You are an imposter. Because I'm on Cameron's channel right now, and it is definitely not hacked. Speaking of which, go subscribe to him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, F in the chat for the imposter channels that I have to keep constantly blocking because they're so irritating they keep dropping up. <sighs> Such a waste of time. So all you're doing is wasting your time. Quit wasting your dang time, bro. Press F to pay respects to Cameron42. It's not the real Cameron42, obviously. Yes. What episode is this on? I forgot. So I am publishing the new vacuum video right now. As soon as I figure out what uh, number we're on for saved vacuums. Because I forgot. So I will look this up uh, using two cell phones. Let's see. Jeez, I've been streaming like crazy. Let's see, when was the last... Okay, episode 7. So episode 8. What's your favorite and least favorite video game of all time? My favorite video games are Ms. Pac-Man and Grand Theft Auto 4. Least favorite, I honestly don't know. Galaxy S5 versus... No, this is a 6S. This is the 6S. So it wouldn't be a fair comparison comparing the S5 to the iPhone 6S. However, that'd be a fair comparison. Galaxy S6 versus iPhone 6S, both came out in 2015. And I guess you could also justify doing Galaxy S7 versus iPhone 6S, since these were competing with each other for about six months. But this is the 6S. What I could do is this is okay, and this is my 6S Plus, which I can do in a comparison with the Note 5. So I could do no, uh, 6S Plus versus Note 5, or I could also do 6S Plus versus S6 Edge Plus. That's also a possibility. And I have the. Where's my iPhone 6 Plus, which is charging over here? I have my iPhone 6 Plus. I have the iPhone 6 Plus, which I could do a comparison. Let's see. 
Oh, what did Caden do? Did Caden do something bad? Oops. Uh, let's see. Why do you love phone collecting? Because I'm weird. But yeah, so I could do the iPhone 6 Plus versus the... So I could do iPhone 6 Plus versus Galaxy Note 4, which that would also be a fair comparison since they came out very close to each other. I think this one came out a month after this one did. So I could do that as well. iPhone 6 Plus versus Galaxy Note 4. So the 6 Plus is thin. Let's see. And kept asking the same questions over and over again. Okay. Well, yeah, he tends to do that. He always does that, in fact. Like, if I had a nickel for every time that he's asked me to fix the 8975, I'd have enough to buy a new motor for it. I'm not saying anything against him, but just saying it's like he just constantly asks the same question over and over again. It's like... I understand, like, if you, if you said it once and it was, like, far back in the chat and I didn't see it, but you ask the same question over and over and over and over and over again. And at that point, I just don't want to answer it anymore because I already answer it and you keep asking the question. He's not the only one to do that. But he is one of the people who does that. So. But yeah, so I can do a bunch of comparisons. So I can do uh, iPhone 6S versus Galaxy S6. I could do... It's not working, but I do have I do have an iPhone 7, but it's not it's iCloud locked, so I can't really I can't do you know iPhone 7 versus Galaxy S7 because it's it's iCloud locked. Uh, yeah, hey Intellitech, do you still own the insert generic vacuum model here? Yeah, I just don't want the chat over with the chat with questions, so I delete the message. No, Alex. You did a beautiful job. You did a beautiful job. Um, I'm very proud of you. And I love you for being a great mod. And a good friend. So all of you who are mods. My salutes. My salutes. My salutations. Is that correct? Whatever. I love you. iPhone 7 smash. No, it's not my phone. It's not my phone. I'm not going to smash my, my own phone. It's one that I'm trying to fix for a friend of mine. Well, she's not really a friend anymore, but I'm still trying to fix it for her because I'm trying to be nice. But, yeah. Oh, I also could do um, iPhone 6S versus Galaxy S6 Edge, although my S6 Edge is not in the best shape. And it's also not my S6 Edge. It belong it's, it's one for work that I was fixing. So I fixed it and now it's good. So it's not mine, although I could I could in theory do a video on it while I have it. You know, nothing wrong with that. But I don't want to do a video on one that's in this poor of a condition. You can see it's it's shattered in the bottom corner and it's actually missing the glass. But somehow the 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 AMOLED panel is still working even though there is a pink line going through it. You can see that the pink line. It it's completely works though. It's fully functional. But yeah, it's, it's the S6 Edge. So right now, I do own every... Uh, uh, minus the active, but I own every... Uh, Galaxy S6... Every 2015 Samsung flagship. Because I got the S6, the S6 Edge, the S6 Edge Plus, and the Note 5. Classic Samsung displays, the pink line. Yeah, the S6 Edge and the S7 Edge had a lot of problems with the pink line. I don't know what it is. I, although it is bent in the down here, and that's exactly the part of the screen where the line is. So I think that could be what's causing the line. It's just the stress on the OLED panel just caused those little those pixels to kind of bleed out. 
But yeah, do iPhone 6s versus Galaxy Note 6. I could do that. Um, although, I mean, there was no Galaxy Note 6. I'm assuming you're referring to the Galaxy Note 7. So iPhone 6, so I could do... Where's my 6s Plus? Because they were competing for about a month, per se. I could do iPhone 6s Plus versus Galaxy Note 7. Because they were competing for about a month in change. Uh, actually, no, just under a month. Because this came out August 19th. This came out September... Or no, the iPhone 7 came out September whatever. So this was still the current one when this came out. So they could very easily be compared. You know, but again, you know, the 7 Plus is the more fair comparison between the Note 7. Let's see. I want to join the stream again. Guys, I'm sorry, can you forgive me? What do you mean? You're already in the stream. Almost looks purple. Try to center up Samuel Jackson with that line. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, all right, Caden. Yep. IPhone, yeah, so the bomb versus iPhone. Okay, yeah, so again, that's, I'm assuming you're referring to the Note 7. I, I, like I just mentioned, I could do that if I wanted to. I have a lot of phones I need to review this year. Um, so, kind of begs the question, what phone should I review first? I'm not going to review phones that I reviewed last year until later in the year right because focus on ones that I haven't reviewed yet which would include the 6 plus um, the s3 the s5 the s4 the s6 the s just every s series in general honestly except for the s8 I already did the s8 however once I fix the s8 plus um, that could work Let's see. I have Galaxy S10 and love everything about it except for the Bixby. I really wish it had the outgoing S voice. Oh god, S voice is so much worse than Bixby. Seriously. In fact, let's test that live. So this is the Note 7, which was the last device, the last flagship Samsung device to have S voice as opposed to Bixby because of course the S8 came out six months after and it had Bixby. So let's go to S voice. Let's see, here's S voice. So here's S voice. Yep, see? S voice. Use your voice to control your device and perform basic tasks easily. So we're going to click start. I agree. Next. Then it says tap start to set up your high galaxy wake up command. You can say high galaxy to wake up S voice anytime, even when the screen's turned off. Hi, galaxy. Hi Galaxy, check messages. Hi Galaxy, play music. And you can now use this command to wake up S Voice at any time, even when the screen's off. Okay, done. Find restaurants. I could not find the answer to your question. <laughs> it told me to tell it find restaurants. And it said it couldn't find the answer to your my question. It just told me to say that. And it <laughs> Speak your way of command or tap the mic button. Okay. So, here's the Note 7 with S voice. And here's the Note 9 with Bixby. So, I'm going to have to hold the Bixby button and say hi, Galaxy. Which that time it didn't it didn't detect it, so um, let me put a case on this because this is this I do not want to drop this Note Seven. I can remember where I put the case. Okay, there's the case. So I'll put a case on this. All right, Windows Ten is an OS. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's unlock. There we go and grab the note so we got the note 7 oh that glitch we got the note 9 and the note 7 and ah, nose is itchy we're gonna see which one 
can find this command and which one is faster. So Bixby versus S Voice. What's the weather? Unfortunately, I can't access weather information at the moment. Would you like to search the web? Yes. So she couldn't find, so S Voice couldn't find the information for weather. So it just told me to search the web, which if I was going to do that, why would, why would I bother using S Voice? Let's see. So now it wants me to get permission, so I'm going to click agree. And then now it's going to... It's cloudy and 30 degrees right now. See, look, there we go. It actually answered the question. S Voice did not. So everyone hates Bixby, and everyone dogs on Bixby, but Bixby is actually surprisingly good. Because S Voice is just so terrible. Where's my Google widget? Why did that disappear? To put that back on. My Google widget is just completely gone on the note set. Where'd it go? It's not even like an option anymore. Search widgets. Google. There's no Google widget? That's so stupid. Okay, so how do I get to Google? Oh, Google's still on here. Okay, whatever, I just opened up the app. Okay. Let's see. So now we're gonna do Bixby versus uh, Google Assistant. What's the weather? Right now. Yeah. So they both got it. Google was slightly faster. <clears throat> so it's slightly faster than Bixby. But that's splitting hairs at this point. So comparing where is where did it go? Yeah. What's the weather? Unfortunately, I can't access weather information at the moment. Would you like to search the web? No. Web search canceled. Yeah. So, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. Because, I mean, this one answered the question. This one did not. So, Bixby versus S-Voice. Pretty clear. Bixby's the winner. And I gotta admit, I actually kind of like Bixby. Note seven's about to die. Uh, let's see. Hey Tracy, you make a series of videos going to thrift stores and filming the vacuums they have. I mean, I guess I could do that. I could incorporate that into any vacuum video that I buy, or I guess you know, and then any ones that I don't get, I can still at least show them on video. And then if someone's like, "Oh no, you should have got that one," then I can be like, "Okay, next time I see it, I'll get it." Let's see, what did I just uh, miss? Um, least favorite PC brand, least favorite phone brand. Least favorite PC brand is HP. Least favorite phone brand is LG. I have a Galaxy S10, love everything. Yeah, I wish that, yeah. So let's see, video idea. I wanted the Pixel 3a because of the camera. Yeah, the 3a is wonderful. I want to get a 3a at some point. Last and only Samsung own was the S5. I love the OnePlus 6T. Pixel 3a was like throwing a test server in a production environment, and I hated it. You didn't like the 3a? What was wrong with the 3a? Comment to the year, LMAO. No, 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 trust me, bro. I absolutely hate Bixby. Talk to text so much that I don't even use it. Why would I trust you when I just I just proved that it works? Maybe it's just the talk to text. Oh, you said talk to text. Okay, let me, let me, let me try this. Um... Hey Bixby. Hey Bixby. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. Send a message to Robert. Any minute now? What would you like the message for Robert Black? to say 
cheesecake. Send the text saying cheesecake to Robert Blackman. Yes. Yes. Okay, I said yes. Are you going to do it? Wow, that's taking way too long. Aaron says hi. Jeez, why so much hate in the HP? Look, I have an HP workstation laptop that the speakers sound awful on after I've only had it for less than a month. And it's a $2,700 laptop. $2,700. Why is this not sending the message? Okay, send. Okay. So I had, I had to press the send button. Did it send? Oh my god, you, you just didn't do that. No way. Did you get the message, Alex? Let me go to my let me go to my messages. Yes, it did. Okay, so it did send it. So at least it sent the message. Now I don't have this hooked up to a SIM card, but let's see if S Voice will let me do the same thing. Okay? Hi, Galaxy. Send a message to Robert. Say your message. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Ready to send a message. Cheesecake. Send. Okay, I sent it. Wow, so... Somehow, so S Voice actually did that faster than Bixby. So that, so your point about text to voice actually makes sense because somehow S Voice managed to do that better than Bixby did because Bixby took a lot longer to do that. So that's honestly surprising. <clears throat> So, yeah, yeah, I, I checked it. <laughs> You're like, bro. <laughs> S-Voice, yeah. So, S-Voice sent this way quicklier. Oh my god, that's not a word. It sent it way more quickly than Bixby did. So, huh, that's interesting. Now let's see if, let's see if Google, if, uh, how the Google Assistant does. Okay, Google. Send a message to Robert. Oh, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. It's just sitting there loading. It's not actually doing anything. Even when you enable the par Parfenovich feature, it sucks it up and never gets anything crew correct. For example, I said the F word instead of sucks and auto-corrected me. S voice. Alex is like, I'm on a diet. <laughs> Telegram. Vanilla Pepsi. Send it. It's on its way. So that's cool. It actually gave me an option to send it via either, at least in the case of Alex, through the phone or through Telegram. So that is really handy, and it did send. So so just from that alone, Google Assistant, I'd say, is superior. And now, let's try it with Siri.
Oh crap, we gotta edit this video now. YouTube crashed, big yikes. Okay, let's see. Uh, save. Okay, so now we'll do Siri. Hey Siri. Send a message to Robert. What do you want to say? Vanilla Pepsi. Your message to Robert Blackman says Vanilla Pepsi. Ready to send it? Yes, send it. Okay, it's sent. Okay, so Siri did a great job too. Um, I think actually, I think that Siri seemed to have been the quickest. Oh, he likes Coke. Yeah. I like Coke, too. I'm drinking uh, Sam's Cola right now. So, Siri. So, comparing... What the heck? How did it send the message if I have no SIM card? Oh, you have an iPhone, too, so it's iMessage. Okay, that's why it was working. I was like, what? But that's not going to show up on my actual number, right? No. Or is it separate? I don't know. This is confusing. My back hurts. Whatever. So Siri. But Siri didn't give me the option to send it via Telegram. So I think since it gave me multiple options, Google Assistant is probably the best. Even though it, it didn't do it the fastest. So I would say that number one was Google Assistant, number two was Siri, number three was S Voice, and number four was Bixby. So the only ones that are missing are Alexa and Cortana. So I haven't tested out Cortana or Alexa. In fact, I actually have Cortana on my Note 9. So let me try Cortana and see if that one does it faster. I think I can also get Alexa on here, but I don't have it installed. So I have Cortana. Oh, your video finally uploaded. BRB. Yeah. Let's see. No, I don't want to set her up. Okay. I gotta change. Hold on. I gotta change the thumbnails and I gotta add some links and stuff, but I wanted to upload it as soon as, as, it, was, as it was done processing. Let's see, add a thumbnail, a custom thumbnail. Okay. Hello, dude. And tell tech, do you think cops are their idiots in GTA? I don't think. I know they are. Save. Let's see. Yeah, so... Do to do to do 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 to do to do do to do to do 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 to do to do to do. My last message to you was straight through Bixby talk to text, and it screwed up every third word. It butchers all but the most basic words. Can you find a Note FE battery case for me? They didn't make one for the Note FE. They made one for the Note Seven, but it doesn't work on the Note FE. So at least if we're talking about first party from Samsung. All the old school Note 7 battery charge cases from other brands like Zero Lemon and stuff like that will all work on the FE. So if you can find one of those, then you'll be able to find one for your FE. 
Um, but if you're trying to go do the official Samsung one, then you don't have any options. You would just have to get an external battery charger, which would obviously work with the FE. And they do make Samsung official variants. I actually had one, but it got stolen. Um, have you been in Fort Zancudo? I can't find one in Turkey, dude. Okay, well, I mean, me finding one for you isn't going to help you if, it, if, it's, if you live in Turkey. I need your help. Well, I don't know how I can help with that. I would say look on eBay, and uh, you might be able to find one for the FE and find one that has international shipping that can ship to your country. Here, let me open. Let me go to eBay. Let's see. Note FE pattern. Huh. Model Note FE. Oh, see, there we go. And free standard shipping, so this costs 30 bucks. I need your help, I need this, yeah. So they do have one for the Note FE. Presumably it also work on the Note 7. 5,000 milliamp hours. And they have one in white. I need original one. An original one doesn't exist, so I can't help you there. I don't know what to tell you, because uh, the original ones don't exist for the FE. They exist for the 7, but they don't work for the FE. So if you if you won't do anything third party, then there's not really anything I can help you with. There's not really anything that anything can help you with, because it, it just doesn't exist. But yeah, this this one would work for you. It's 30 bucks. It's a charge case that'll work for the 7 and the FE, and it has free shipping. See details about international shipping, so this probably would let you ship to Turkey. See, look, here we go. We can ship to your country. It's working on FE. But yeah, if you, this, this one right here will work for you, and they can ship it to Turkey. So this one will help you. Just watch the video is awesome. I try to make it super quick and just straight to the point. But yeah. Is this a whatever stream or phone stream? I love you, dude. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. So this is a whatever stream. It's a phone stream, it's a vacuum stream, it's a computer stream, it's a Pepsi stream. I have a 3022-R, we still use it as an actual machine. Oh, that's cool. Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up? The artist formerly known as Gamer6472. Gross, Pepsi. You don't like... Why don't you like Pepsi? You like Coke. Oh. Coke all the way. Why do you hate Pepsi so much? Can you sell me your case if you don't use this? I, I don't have a Note FE battery case. If I would, I'd consider it, but I, I don't have one, so... Unfortunately, I can't help you there. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, home, of course. Yeah. Handle lock has been broke for like five years and headlights burnt out. Note 7Ks, Coke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're at the home of Coke because Coke's from Atlanta. Buster says, I love Pepsi and cocaine equally. Yeah. So... 
<sighs> so this case looks in I don't like how the top's wide open, but I guess it has to be for it to fit. But if you drop the case and the phone's gonna go flying out and bash into the concrete, they ain't come for all the phones, it looks like. There it is for the note FE, note four, note five, note FE, note eight. Note 9. Parents got it when it was brand new back in 2002. Could get one for the Note 4. Uh. Any of the older Bissell Cleanview Power Tracks Revolutions and Phantom Thunders and Furies? Is that a question? Hi everyone in chat, what's your most favorite vacuum cleaner ever made? Well, you know what my answer is. The Power Glide Platinum and the Phantom Fury. Meaning my favorite one's the Power Glide Platinum. 25 of these cases for 50 bucks. That's a good deal. It's two bucks a piece. I don't know if I need that many though. I don't even need one. I just, this Xbox is still on. I didn't even realize that. Alex asked oh he did I missed that comment yeah he asked what your favorite vacuum was any older clean your power tracks pin of okay yeah so we pretty much agree only mine's the bag versions of the of the thistles so be it but beyond that Buster and my favorites vacuums are pretty much the same my old one was an iPhone 7 in fact I still had it oh, I left, Alex, Alex asked what my favorite vacuum was I have a Samsung S10. So you upgraded from the iPhone 7 to the S10. Do you think the Reef Ultima is okay? I love mine. Been a long time since I've used one. Kirby Ultimate G Series or Silver Glide? That's an interesting combo. But yeah. What about your favorite phones of all time? So I'll, I'll, I'll pose that side of the question. So. The soothing hum of the Xbox goes unnoticed as it lulls everyone to sleep. Yes, I forgot about it. I actually, I, I somehow forgot about it. But yeah, it's still on. Still hasn't red ring yet. Even though my Xbox is standing straight up, the light keeps shifting as if it's horizontal. So there it goes. I need an original one, but not... I need original one, but it's not selling in Middle East, dude. What? I just told you, I, I'm sorry that you need an original one, but it doesn't exist. I don't know how to help you. Xbox need to be cleaned. Almost sounds like our data center at work, Lala Mayo. Yeah. But it's not dirty or nothing. It just, you know... Do, 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 do. This no four is in really good condition. Okay, I'm not really showing anything here. This is just scrolling through eBay. But yeah, so what are y'all's favorite phones? My first favorite is the Note 9. 
My second favorite's the Note 7. My third favorite's the Note 3, which I don't have right now. My four favorite's the Note 8, which is currently broken. My fifth favorite is the Note 5. My sixth favorite is the Note 4. Uh, yeah, you get the idea. It's all notes. My favorite is the Note 8. Really? My favorite is my current phone, the iPhone 8 Plus. Fan of the Xbox just worn out. I like how long of the year you last. They get louder with the year of iPhones. Compared to Slim, it's quieter. The reason the fan's bigger than the Slim. Hmm. Actually, the fan isn't worn out. The problem is, is, is probably just uh, the fan is just kicking on and just running at full speed when it's not supposed to. Yeah. As far as um, all, let's see, where are all the Galaxy phones that I own right now? So, let's see. Minus ones that are in boxes, I have an S4 that I just factory reset. Skip. Do, 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 do. Note 8 is very cool. So I've got Intellitech. When's the last time you fired up your 352-5? Uh, probably would be September. Yeah, September. No, not September. Would have been uh, uh, let's see, yeah, so it would have been like October ish, maybe November that I fired it up. I'm going to set up this S4. Yeah, so... Next. I understand. No thanks. Next. Skip. Just a sec. Fired up my 352-R yesterday. Sign in with your Google account. Gmail.com. I don't know if I've signed in on this S4 yet. I think I have. Do 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 do. I need to get a Bissell for my collection. Hmm. Check your phone. There we go. So that's good. Oh, my Note 7's at 18%. That needs to charge. What's the worst vacuum you owned? Not sure. Uh, hmm. Probably one of the sharks. I must go. I gotta go to sleep or tomorrow. I'll get you your switch on Saturday if you'll be in the shop that day. Still have to buy a switch and do a system transfer. Yeah. Um... I mean, you really don't have to give me that switch, but, I mean, I guess if you want to, then I guess if it's that versus it going into the trash or something, then yeah, I'll definitely take it. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll, so I guess I'll see you Saturday, then, when it, if you come into the shop. But, yeah, have a good day at work tomorrow. Let's see, what's the worst vacuum? Uh, no, I already ran into that. Wait, it tells it to even fire up your... Yeah, I still have my 3522-R. I used it a few months ago to clean out my car. Uh, get it, but if you have stairs, do not vacuum the damn stairs. Okay. I hate Kirby's because of how heavy they are. That's why I hate them too, because I have a bad back, so I can't use heavy vacuums. Um, I even struggle to use the... the uh, 
Destiny Plus. I just scrapped out a Kirby G5 the other day. I can't help but think about Kirby people flipping over, flipping out over Kirby versus videos. Huh. Maybe. Count added. Okay. Galaxy S4. Next. It was used to clean up dog crap. Oh, that's not good. Vacuums are just vacuums. No point in wor worrying because... Just because it's best. We all like vacuums. I like like a sanitary versus Kirby threat in vacuum land. FEF's Kirby versus Fury video. And my friend's old Kirby Helix versus Sentry of it. Vacuum guy selling his Kirby's. Not how you spell Gmail. Nope. Sign in. On the S4. Anyone? Anyone knows? Anyone selling uh, selling Dyson vacuum parts? I don't know anyone. Uh, honestly, because honestly, if I did, I would. Uh, No connection, can't null an attachment. Retrieving data from Samsung account. Let's see, we still all had tons of crap in the bag after the Kirby out of the vacuum. Kirby people made up in areas. Oh, yuck. It's MN920T and I10H. Cancel. Next, Dropbox, skip, S-Beam, I want that, AirView, I want that, I just want everything. Galaxy S4, there we go, finish. Yes, get on eBay or Amazon, there we go. Google Plus update required. Touch the download latest version. Okay. I live with my dad. Don't exactly live alone. Ooh, my arm just popped. Kinda wish I live alone, but that would cost money. And I don't have money. Tomorrow I gotta go to the DMV to renew the title of my car. I didn't do that today because they weren't open. I already answered this question for someone else. I don't live with my mom because she lives about 2,000 miles away. She lives in uh, Florida. To tell you the truth, I'm standing. <laughs> I'm standing up on top of the roof, and it's 9:54 p.m. Why are you doing that? Uh, I don't know why you're doing that. Get off the roof. It's not safe. You might fall. Got 22 views on this video already. Wow, that's crazy. Both of my notes. This S7 still has a bloated battery because I still haven't fixed it yet for some reason. 
I will do that at some point. Because I'm drunk. Well, that's not good. I love collecting all vacuums, but I have some that I don't want at all, like my blue power force bag. Well, I want one of those. I want one of those blue ones. I love the color blue. Which one would win in a fight? iPhone 6 Plus or Galaxy Note 4? My vote goes Note 4. iPhone 6 Plus. The 6 Plus would win in a fight? How? It would bend. A note would punch the iPhone. It would bend. This thing just bends. I still can't get over that clicking sound. Which apparently just went away. Okay. Nope. It's very subtle. So there's the eye. Look how thin that phone is. I think th I think this is the the thin the iPhone six is I think the thinnest iPhone they made. pretty sure anyways I don't know if the 6 or the 6 plus is thinner I want to say the 6 plus is thinner but I could be wrong it's a super thin iPhone compared to the 11 Pro Max which is like almost twice as thick thankfully and the Note 4 significantly thicker But, it's shorter, and it's also, wait, is it narrower? See, it feels narrower than the 6 Plus, but I think, actually... Yeah, that 6 Plus is a little bit uh, narrower. Just the slightest bit. But the Note 4 is shorter. And it has a bigger screen. Because this has a 5.5 inch screen. This has a 5.7 inch screen. Ooh. So now... I'm going to close out of all the apps on the 6 Plus, and I'm going to turn off the 6 Plus, and I'm going to turn on the 6 Plus and the Note 4 at the same time, and see which one boots up faster. So I'm putting them both up at the same time, 3, 2, 1, so there we go. Got the Note 4 and the 6 Plus. This is the Snapdragon Note 4, by the way. The international one is actually faster. Yep, Note 4 booted up. And the 6 Plus. There we go. Booted up. So there we go. Note 4 booted up faster than the 6 Plus. My Note 4 is quicker. Uh, when do you go to bed? Um, I don't know. Apple won. How did the Apple win? You just saw the Note 4 turn on faster than the, than the iPhone.
I, I, was, I was expecting the iPhone to beat the Note, but it surprisingly didn't. Samsung versus Apple. Huh. Apple turned on faster on the power. Yeah, no 4 is fast and Apple 1 is slow. You ever have a Samsung S6 Edge Plus? Nope. I do not own an S6 Edge Plus. Not at all. I don't own one. I will never own one, and I do not currently own one. There is not an S6 Edge Plus sitting in my hand right now. Did I just scratch my S6 home button? Okay, no I didn't. Or did I? Guys, I'm going to go to bed because I have school tomorrow. Alright, good night. So... Here is an S6 Edge Plus and a Note 5, and we'll see which one of these boots up quicker, the Note 5 or the S6 Edge Plus. Actually, in fact, I'm going to use this Note 5 because these are both on the same firmware. These are both on Android Marshmallow. So we're going to boot them both up. Three, two, one. Oh, this one's already turned on. Oh, crap. Well, that was useless. Darn it. Yeah. Well, that put it up pretty quickly. Let's see. turn that back off. Power off. And this is off now. So now we're going to turn both these on. In three two, one. There we go. So, S6 Edge Plus, Note 5, both running the same software. This one's T-Mobile. This one's Verizon. Oh! And the S6 Edge Plus just barely beat out the Note 5. Interesting. So yeah. S6 Edge Plus is the slightest bit faster than the Note 5. Which is interesting. How much was yours? I think it was like Something like a hundred dollars? Yeah, a hundred dollars. And note five. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So now, this is a note four. This is the six plus. So now I'm going to take my S5 and my Note 4 and see which one boots up faster. I'm going to guess the Note 4. So these are both Samsung's 2014 flagships. I'm missing the S5 Mini and the Note Edge, but, you know, whatever. These are the two main ones. And, of course, the S5 Active. So there's five phones that came out. So let's see. Three, two, one. 
So number four popped up first, even though I did hold both the buttons at the exact same time. So we'll see that. See which one boots up quicker. This one is Verizon. This one is Sprint. Both US variants. Oh, Note 4. Note 4 booted up. And then S5. Now the Note 4 is currently running uh, Android 5.1.1. Yep, that's correct. So the Note 4 is running Android 5.1.1 and the S5 is running Android 6.0.1. So keep that in mind. Turn that on. Boom. So there's a Note 4. There's the S5. So there's that. Power that off. Power that off. Now, I was going to Galaxy S3. Teltag, do you like Hot Pockets? Hungry Man Meals, Banquet Meals, and Jimmy Dean Food. Well, I like the Banquet ones. I like Hot Pockets. I never had the Hungry Man or the Jimmy Dean ones. I try not to eat too much frozen food, but I do eat those on a decently decent basis. I love, like, the little mini pizzas. Not the Tony's ones. I mean, those are good, too, but I like the... They're almost like pizza bagels, but they're not quite pizza bagels. But yeah. So now let's do boot up test between the Note 4 and the Note 5. So we're going to grab both these and turn them on in 3, 2, 1. So the Note 4 popped up first. So it may be a little bit close. T-Mobile Sprint. I do actually have a Sprint phone that is all... Oh. <sighs> Note 5 was first. Just barely. Let's turn that off. And this one, turn it off as well. All right. What else can I do a boot up test on? Oh, I do have a lot of phones, yeah. So, unlock. I can also drink coffee or monster, no sleep till 5 a.m., yeah. So I'm also gonna turn off the Note 7. And I will grab the S7. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to grab the one with the bloated battery just to make this more interesting as we compare two potentially explosive phones. So I've got the Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy Note 7. Both these are Verizon. This one's running Android 8 Oreo. This one's running Android 6 Marshmallow. So move these up. Three, two, one. Both booted up at the same time. I can feel them both vibrate at the same time. So we'll see which one of these boots up quicker. Whew. Both Verizon. And, ooh, S7, then Note 7, okay. So the S7 was faster this time. Granted, it also could be because there's, my Note, the Note 7 has a bunch of apps on it, and the S7 is freshly reset, so that could, that could play into it. But yeah. Charger. Let's see. Why so many phones? Ah, uh, because why not? 
I've got my iPod on Telegram now. I'm going to send you a message while I'm watching on my iPhone. Interesting. Yeah, so here's the S7. You can see that. It is working just fine. Although the battery is kind of bloated. It's very bloated, actually. Still works, though. I do need to replace the battery. In fact, I actually have... Ooh, I got a message. Oh, I thought I got a message, or did I not? No, I did. Sent from my iPod. Ah, I see. So you're watching on your gold iPhone 8 Plus. Wonderful, wonderful. Cool. Sent a message on my iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm actually... While I'm on stream, why don't I go ahead and... Replace the battery. Sent a photo. Let's see. As I play GTA. Cool. Nice. Alright. Um, let's turn this down. Down like that. You can kind of see all the stuff on my floor. Move that to hide that. So, <laughs> you can see all these phones. Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Okay, this Essex Edge. There's another S7. And the S6. S7, S6. S5, I'll leave that here. S3. Turn that off. There we go. Turn off the S3. A lot of phones. A lot of phones. Here's another S3. This, that's broken. This one needs a new screen. This is a black S3. This is my personal blue S3. And... This S4, that is a dummy phone, it's not an actual S4. Just a knockoff. Or it's like the display model that's in the store. And... We got a Note 5 here. And another Note 5. So this one... I will... put back in the box. go that goes over there and this note 5 I'll set on top of this box and then this is the note 4 and this is the 6s plus so I'm gonna move all these these I'm gonna keep out these I'm gonna put in the drawer put that in the drawer Oh, this one. That one I'll keep out too. Ah. This one I gotta put back in the box. So that goes over there. And this one I'm using. This one's broken. This one goes in the drawer. The drawer of all the various phones. And, yeah, that one I'm using. This one goes back in the box. And this box goes in here as well. Steve. 
I'm making my way away from you. Microphone slips back here. Okay. So now. Oh, Aaron says good night. Yep, good night. Steven says hi. So I'm actually going to go ahead and fix this S7, which is turned off. Yes. My Note 7 isn't charging for some reason. I don't know why it's not charging. So I'll put my Note 9 there, put my Note 7 on this charger. Let's see. Where is my heat gun? Yes, it's not working. that battery okay here's the battery let's see so this is the replacement battery for the s7 smells like a battery I was told this was an, a genuine OEM Samsung battery it is clearly not there's no logo on it Kind of annoying, but whatever, as long as it works. Manufactured September 3rd, 2019. And this is a 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is the correct capacity for the Galaxy S7. So, and I'm charging up the old battery just because I can still use it as a test battery even though it's bloated. It's at 99% and that should do the trick. So this is a replacement battery. This should hopefully do the trick and make the S7 not all bloaty anymore. But yeah, ooh, Fan of Vacuums 2 commented. That's cool. And advertisements. Yeah. Stupid advertisements. Okay. So this is almost fully charged. There's still some of these. back panel for note 7 that's cool
Hey, so we got a sharp navigator that's stuck in the water. It's a navigator lift away DX. What should I do? Because water filled up the canister so full that it went into the motor. Oh, if you have water in the motor, uh, you should take that vacuum. You should throw it in the trash and go to the store and buy a Bissell. But no, seriously, um, I'm not sure. I would say completely tear the vacuum down to the motor and try to dry everything out as much as you can. Uh, if you have water in the motor, then make sure that the entire thing is completely dried out. Otherwise, you may end up killing the vacuum and potentially setting your house on fire, which is not good. How did you suck up water in your shark, by the way? I don't understand how you managed to, shark, to suck up enough water, not only to fill up the canister, but also to go into the motor without recognizing it. Someone sucked up water and gave it to me. Okay. Well, at least... At least it wasn't you who did it, but still. Now Uncle dropped his community helix in a pool. How did, he, how did he do that? Hmm. Plus, when I took it apart, the canister of water went all over my floor. That doesn't sound good. How much is a note FE? I want to get one. Hmm. Ooh. Note 9. Nine. Oh my, that's rough. That's gross. It doesn't look like there's actually any actual damage. It just looks really dirty and gross. The parts are not working. Well, what's wrong with it? Pin code locked, which will mean it's also locked with an unknown Google account password. Also probably as bad as since stylus is stuck in it as well. See notes section. Uh, how's the stylus stuck in it? It looks fine to me. I should probably bid. I wish I had the money to bid on this. This would be a really good deal. Because I could easily Google unlock this. And then just give it a good cleaning and it would be good to go. Darn. Another says it'll use the shark and pick up the water. Well, that sounds really stupid. Cleaning filters by the pool. Oh. That's weird. Anyways. Let's fix the phone. So we got this the Galaxy S7. With the bloated battery. So it needs a new battery. I got a battery right here. I don't know. I might need to get a new back panel. Because this adhesive might be kind of shot. Because it's not really sticking anymore. But we'll see. Oh, something just fell. Oh, it's a SIM card tool.
Alex is still here. That's wonderful. Let's see. I just put away all my tools. Let's see. Let me grab my tool kit. Yeah, that's not good if it went to the motor. I gotta be careful, I just melted this card. Okay, I might have to let that. Uh oh. Okay, that didn't work. Oh. Well, look at that. That battery is badly bloated. Look at that. You can squeeze it. Alrighty, yeah, that battery does not look like it's in good shape. It actually looks worse once you get into it, but... So the adhesive on this side is completely tooled up. Uh, so I'll need to apply some new adhesive. Or I might need to uh, later on apply some new adhesive. Alright. But now we got into the phone. So all I gotta do is just remove this little panel and then I can remove the battery and put the new one in. So this is a super simple repair one, once you get into the back panel. Which on this phone it was made super easy. But if you're trying to get into an S7 that's still watertight. Then you gotta be very careful with uh, initially getting into the back panel. And lifting it up, otherwise you could end up cracking it. But yeah, so just gotta undo all these screws. screws we should see oh 
All these screws are the same size too, so you don't need to worry about putting them in the wrong place once you're putting the phone back together. Another thing I love about Samsung phones is that they're super easy to work on, at least once you get into them. Especially the S7 and Note 7 series. They're dead simple to work on. At least once you get past that back panel. Which I really, really like. Because, yeah, you have to you have to worry about the, the back glass cracking, but beyond that, once you get into it, it's really simple. Like Alex's phone, for example, his iPhone 8 Plus is a nightmare to repair, especially that back panel. You have to, you can't just, you can't just do this and then put a new back panel on. You have to actually replace the entire rear housing, which is even more complicated than it is on a Galaxy phone. Because there's so many extra small little parts that are honestly relatively unnecessary, but that Apple insists on including within their phones. So, that's one thing to keep in mind when fixing an iPhone, is they are very difficult to repair. So I grab these tweezers to pull out some of these screws that don't like to come out on their own. No, well, maybe not. This one screw doesn't seem to want to come out. It is loosened though. There we go. Yeah, look at how bloated that battery is. And I'm still poking it as if... See, here's something you don't want to do. You don't want to poke this with your pry tool. Because if you poke this, the battery could explode like literally explode right in my face so that actually wasn't a good idea that I was just doing that but I'm careful oh no yeah don't do that stab it with a screwdriver and you'll completely cause the phone to blow up in your face Pull out all these screws. I don't know. The shark is humming, so the shark navigator is dead. Oh. It's making that noise that it does whenever it's all groggy and broken. Yeah, that's not good. Surprised it hasn't started smoking at this point. You made sure to get all the water out of it, though, right? Before trying that? Because you may have just killed it by turning it on if there was water in the motor. Because that's just causing unnecessary stress on the motor. But it is my brother's. Who else is still in the chat? Oh yeah, Alex is still in the chat. He says, "My lord, not not the one I got. The one my friend has is dead. The one I got's not dead though. Y'all are crazy. Yeah, Alex is right. Y'all are crazy. Missing any screws, are I?
Oh my, that just launched across the room. There we go. So there's the battery connector. And I don't need to remove this loudspeaker, but I guess that'll give us a little bit more room to work with. Look at that battery. Yeah, so this part flew off. So now we want to use a plastic pry tool to not cause any short circuiting and unplug this battery. There we go. So the battery's unplugged. So now I need to actually work on removing this battery. Which might not be that easy of a task. So be very careful not to stab this battery. I also have to be careful not to accidentally put too much pressure on the underside and damage the display. So since this is a bloated battery, this is a little bit more dangerous than it usually would be. But it still shouldn't be that bad. You just have to be careful not to puncture the battery. As you wedge it out of the phone. adhesive which I would like to try to reuse even though it all bunched up like this there we go because you don't need a ton of battery adhesive you really don't honestly don't even need any but it's good practice to keep the battery from bouncing around in there but you don't need a lot so just this little bit that's still here will be good Question in Teletech. If the motor is seized, can you unseize it? Yes, you can. Why in the hell am I squeezing this battery? Uh, feels like tinfoil. Yeah, Samsung SDI. This battery was manufactured. Well, it's got a little sticker on it. That's covering up the manufacture date. So if I pull this off, you can see that this battery was made... This battery was made July 17th, 2016. No, June 17th, 2016. And this was made by the same company that later went on to make the... Actually, no, it's not. This one was made in China. So this is not the Korean defective batteries that were in the later Note 7s. But yeah. I dare to go outside and throw that bloated battery on the ground really hard. Okay, I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I'll do that tomorrow. It'll probably explode. Even if I bend... Actually, I'm not going to bend it. 
But yeah, so here's the new battery. Which this has a little sticker on it. Which, oh no, this is a Samsung battery. Just that sticker was covering the Samsung logo. So I'm not sure why this little piece of tape was here, but I'll leave it on there. I'll actually put it up here. And then I'll take... this little piece of tape and put it down here not sure if that serves any sort of purpose but can't hurt nothing there we go we will connect this battery there we go that, that was easy and now we'll just slide this in Which it actually seems to be a little bit thicker than I thought it would be. Actually, wait a minute. Will this battery not fit? There we go, just kind of squeeze it in there. There we go. Squeeze it down. And connect this connector. There we go. So that's connected now. And the battery is seated in place. So I'm gonna grab this cable, plug it in and make sure it charges. Oh, there we go. Wonder what percentage this is at. Out of the, out of the box. 64%, huh? Let's turn this on. Actually, we're going to unplug this. And turn it on and make sure it holds the proper charge. Turn it on. There we go. Galaxy S7. Ooh, I feel the CPU getting hot. Looks like it's working just fine. It's a new replacement battery. This old one's all bloated and pretty bad. Still might make a decent test battery though, but nothing more. You would never want to put this in a device that won't even fit. Okay. There we go. And turn up the brightness. Yep, working just fine. Sixty four percent. Beautiful. So everything's good on it, so we're going to turn this back off. And put this back together. Alrighty. It is turned off now, so I can place these little pieces together I 
actually I'll put like this goes on first yeah that goes on first and it now can actually sit flush again which is good go and the speaker snap right in there we go all snaps in just fine and now I can put in put in all the screws and we're good to go. I did melt, yeah, I did melt my card. <laughs> but it, it's, you know, I mean, it is kind of deshapen now, but it goes back to its hard state, you know, actual card-like state instead of like a thick paper. So it didn't actually melt, it just warped. I don't know what this little residue is. Not gonna work. I think that, oh, that's like adhesive residue. Two more screws left. That'll be all of them. There we go. And I can go ahead and seal on the back panel. I might need to get, I'll probably have to get some replacement adhesive since some of this adhesive is not all that sticky anymore. But I, I'll address that later. So, that back on. A little chip right there in the paint but that's okay seal on this back panel which will actually seal well it won't seal that good 
since it needs new adhesive. But it will be good enough for now. Until I can get some replacement adhesive. And there we go. I didn't even have to buy a new back panel. Because somehow, despite the battery being bloated that much, it did not shatter the back panel. So I can still keep the original back panel with all the information and Verizon's lovely tramp stamp. So there we go. We've got three concurrent viewers right now, but that's okay. So I just... There we go. So the S7 is fixed. Boom, there we go. It actually feels like a normal phone now. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Not sure how much I would trust the water resistance rating. Probably none at this point. Because I can easily lift my put, I can very easily stick my fingernail in there and lift up the back panel if I wanted to. Because ironically, the side with the adhesive on it is really weak. There we go. So I fixed the S7 with a new battery, and now it is fully fully working. Yep. So there we go. I'm going to install AccuBattery, which measures the battery capacity. And if this, since this battery is new, and it is supposed to be a genuine battery, then it should register at close to 100% capacity. Once I do a couple charge cycles, and I'm able to measure it. So they always say when you get a new battery, it's good to drain it all the way to zero and then use it so you can properly calibrate it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to charge this, although I am, let's see, I will check real quick to see if wireless charging works, which it should. And it does. Okay, good. So I'm going to use this and drain it all the way to zero. Uh, so I'm going to drain it all the way to zero and then charge it back up, and that should calibrate it correctly and then at that point I should be able to measure the battery capacity and make sure this thing is actually a hundred percent battery capacity so or actually is you know 3,000 milliamp hours so yeah there we go perfect just a lovely fixed Galaxy S7 Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. All right, well, I think I'm going to end it there because it is almost 11 o'clock. So it's nice able to end the, end the stream with a successful repair. Maybe this is probably too bright. I can't see that. But yeah, so I'm going to end the stream in a little bit. In a few minutes, but we can see I was able to fix the S7. So that's good. Right through all these menus. Fire. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Perfectly working Galaxy S7. Beautiful, huh? Perfect. So that was that was really nice. Was able to fix that up, no problem. Do 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 do. Text you in a few trace. All right, I will I will talk to you in a little bit. But yeah. So, anyway, guys, this was Intellitech Studios. I hope you guys enjoyed this fairly random stream. I hope it was entertaining. And, uh, yeah. 
I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.